Hello and welcome to another alternative build video. Today we're going to be looking at this set here, the Armourer's Mandalorian Forge from 2021. Now this is an okay looking set. I don't think the build's particularly useful and it does look a little bit messy to me. Um, so I think I'm going to try and improve it um, because you can see there's like different things going off in all directions. I just want one simple looking display. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a vehicle out of this because there's a lot of just regular bricks and plates so it's hard to make something with dynamic shapes to it so I'll try my best, work out something and I'll see you after I've given it a good go. Hope you enjoy. And here it is, my alternative build of the Mandalorian Forge, what I'm currently calling the Mandalorian Market. Now this was, this came with an idea when I noticed a lot of pieces in the set were like, like things that had been half smelted and just made. So I thought about what if the armorer could be like a shop owner and could be selling the stuff from the, <laughs> from the set, henceforth creating the Mandalorian market. And because she like created the Beskar armor, I thought like, what if she could be selling it? So you can kind of see, I've used these sticker pieces here to kind of like create the big ticket item as this big display for a set of Beskar armor. Like try to imagine that this isn't the Mandalorian character. This is just his armor on sale. Um, so that's kind of like the centerpiece of the model, but we'll go through it all in general. And we'll start from this section over here, which was created last out of all of this, which is kind of like a till or a cash register. If I just move the armor to the side, you can see here, here's kind of the till. You pay in a Beskar, obviously. So there's one, uh, <laughs> bar there and there's kind of just all of the bits and bobs which make the machine work there's a a card machine i guess <laughs> that's just me saying it right now but if you've got a credit card you can use it and there's just some other some detail pieces and a little bar on the side just for some more detail but i think that creates a nice little look for the for the employee here that being the armor you can see on the right here, we've got our customer, that being Paz Vizsla. I actually took his armor piece off just because I really like his torso print. And that's also a part of the idea where this came from, trying to take that off of him. So he's just buying it in this, in this scenario. He's just picking it off the shelf. You can see there, there's some other tools on that sticker piece, as well as the unprinted helmet that's for sale and the jetpack. So you'll notice that this side is more of like the armor and costume. Whereas this side is more like the weaponry and accessories. Although I guess the jetpack also counts as an accessory. You can see here we've got on, it's quite symmetrical. I'm really happy with the shape of the overall model. Like I really like how the lights work here just to kind of give it a nice bit of ambiance, if you will. And these sticker pieces at the top as well, creating some nice little logos for the store. Um, I quite like the symmetricality of how just the colors worked as well. I was managed. I managed to keep all of the light grey pieces to the floor, which I think works quite well. And then the dark tan to the walls, creating just an even setting rather than it looking quite hodgepodge. Although it does look hodgepodge, but that's kind of just in the Navarro style. You can see the floor is quite messy with a mix of tiles and um, plates, but I think it still looks quite good. You can see on each side, there's some little tables here just for some more detail, which I think look quite cool. Kind of moss, Isley Cantina style. And there's a box here with some other accessories like a hammer and a pair of clippers or something. Moving to the center, as previously mentioned, there's the star buy item. I really liked how I could use these um, pieces, which is some of my favorite parts from the actual set, these quarter round tiles, and make a really fun, unique detail out of them. Even if the stickers are not placed perfectly, and I was able to use that black piece to kind of cre create a nice backing for it as well. This yellow piece is sort of unfortunate because it is quite bright, but I needed it for the um, bracket. But it also works quite well, just as it, it draws your eye to the yellow piece, which kind of draws your eyes to the central part of the build, which I think works quite nicely. You can see at the middle here is the, if I just spin this slightly to the middle, is the Mandalorian hologram. 
Um, I'm not sure what's exactly for sale here. I guess you could just be buying the hologram table or something. But again, just something nice for the central part of the build. And to have all these pieces around it, it creates a really nice look. Um, to the right here, we've got a couple of boxes. You can see there's an ice skate in here. There's another one up there. Not exactly sure what these could be in context. I guess you could have some Mandalorian with some ice skates on, because why not? And then to the right over here, we've got some thermal detonators in another box. There's another crate mac here with the Mandalorian's gun. Um, but you can see that's paired with just a broom over there. Um, here is another like kind of register thing. I'm not exactly sure what this could do. Maybe it could be a way to open the door to get to this Mandalorian armor. I don't know, just make something up. And then over here, we've got another set of tools being some different guns and blasters and whatnot, all clipped onto the wall there. But yeah, I think this is a really cool little alternative build. It's probably my favorite that I've done so far. I just think it's a really solid look overall and I don't think there's too many pieces wasted. Here is the small selection of leftover pieces I have from the set. You can see there's this big fat um, plate, which is basically the length of the build. It's a little bit shorter, but so I didn't really have any place to put this. Um, a couple of red two by four bricks, which may look slight, slightly out of place on here. And then just a bunch of other Technic stuff. So I don't think too much is lost here, especially considering what I had to start with, which was a build that I wasn't totally happy with. It just felt a little bit useless and not that this is particularly useful. I just had quite a lot of fun making it. And there we go, my alternative build for the Mandalorian Forge. Hopefully you liked this build and liked it as much as I had fun making it. On my last alternative build video, a lot of people were asking for me to make instructions to it. Now for that last build, that isn't possible because I destroyed the build to make something new, which you should be seeing in the near-ish future. But I'm not sure if for this build, if people would want instructions or if so, how you'd want me to make them, um, because that's something I could potentially look into, whether that's making them within the actual video themselves or making like some kind of PDF file or a studio file on the build or something, which is easier to make. I'm not sure if that's something I should go into. Let me know in the comments if it should, or just let me know if you liked it. Um, and subscribe if you're new, because more alternative builds like this, better than this, and probably slightly worse than this, will be coming in the future. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I really do appreciate it, and goodbye.